Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a new model from Red Dragon, a full-size gasket mount keyboard. Yeah, you heard me right. Gasket mount, three mode, hot swap, full-size Red Dragon keyboard. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed watching Red Dragon go from a very gamer-centric basic design to i mean they've improved their designs they they come up with some interesting features and they're they're moving forward they continue to listen to their market base they listen to cu customers they listen to their reviewers i know there's been a couple things they've implemented that i have asked for and then six months later it happens it's like oh maybe Maybe they are listening, and I, I do think they listen, and they continue to deliver some interesting keyboards. And while it's rare that I use a full-size every day, I grew up with full-size. I used full-size for the majority of my professional career, um, and a nice enough full-size I can still use. Though I tend to lean more towards 1,898%, give me a nice full-size, and I'm not going to miss it because I use a macro pad. Or anything that's a 75% or actually even a, yeah anything that's a TKO or lower I'm going to be using a macro pad anyway so for all intents and purposes I'm using a full size so today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Red Dragon Fay Pro it's a 104 key three mode mechanical keyboard with hot swap sockets so let's go ahead and jump on in and see what we've got as always, Red Dragon likes to do a box within a box, which I can't complain about. I like their presentation, and it continues to get better. I mean, this is this is a nice presentation. I like the logo, but I am partial to Dragon, so I guess that could just be a me thing. All right, so first off, let's go ahead and see what's included in the box. We have a nice rubberized USB-A to USB-C cable. We have your standard wire switch and keycap puller. And we have what appears to be double shot PVT keycaps, but some extra arrows. So we have the arrows, backspace, enter, and the space bar in case we want to change colors. And in here, we're going to have some spare switches. And as always, uh, Red Dragon is kind enough to include some extra switches for us in case one of them goes sideways or even a couple. Unfortunately, these are not lubed, but, well, we'll see. I mean, I've actually tested a few Red Dragon boards that came with unlubed switches, but because of the construction and the plates and everything, they didn't really ping or it wasn't that bad. And here we are with the Red Dragon Fay Pro, and it is a decent looking keyboard at first. I like the lines. I like the two-tone white and blue um i like the fact that we have the option to go with the straight uniform colorway or we can go with the highlight um which i kind of like i do kind of hear some ping let's see what we've got underneath here oh that's just a key cap all right Now, it feels like we have a plastic plate. It's definitely not aluminum, definitely not steel. So, it could it could be FR4. So, the website doesn't have a mention of the plate material, just that it's gasket mounted. I would I would guess that it's some sort of PC plate. It feels like a plastic, doesn't feel like a palm or an FR4. So, um, we do have... Uh, what looks to be a layer of IXPE foam, and there's no PET. Despite not having a steel plate, oh, we have north facing, uh, three and five hot, three and five pin hot switch, hot swap compatible. One of the things I almost like to do it right now, <laughs> but I'll uh, I will hold myself off is to just go ahead and lube the switches because I think that alone would make a huge difference. Now, 
that taken into consideration, this keyboard does list for less than $60. And I recently took a look at uh, an LTC keyboard. Had a, it, did ha it did have a knob and a screen, but those things are actually not that expensive. A potentiator meter and a small screen, you're talking less than five bucks for both parts. So, and maybe another buck to install. But it had a steel plate and it wasn't gasket mounted. Here you can actually see that you have some flex and you have some give. So, and you actually have some decent stabilizers. They're not too bad right out of the box. I doubt there's any ability for screw-in stabilizers, but let's take a look. These are actually quite well attached. Yeah, as I suspected, there is no possibility for screw-in stabilizers, though they definitely have plenty of grease on them. So you can't complain about them not being lubricated. And like I said, they're pretty well attached to that plate. I'm almost tempted to get in there, but not today. We'll come back to this. I'll definitely mod it because I, I've always enjoyed modding a Red Dragon board. I, that's one thing that I can always say for certain. Um, so we've got a pocket for the USB 2.4 uh, gig receiver down here. We also have uh, two pairs of dropout feet with three angles. Here we have Windows and a Mac switch as well as a mode 2.4 or Bluetooth. Uh, let's load you back in. Take a key cap out. It does not say if they're PBT, but if I had to guess, I would say they're PBT. They they kind of feel like it, but then they do have a shine of an ABS. So it's like eh, it's hard for me to say. The only way to know what kind of plastic it is if they don't list it is to actually burn it and see at what temperature it burns. And I'd rather not burn the keys. All right, so these keycaps are not bad, 1.3 millimeters. I've been seeing them come in a lot higher. But again, for the price this keyboard um, comes at, that's a pretty good uh, width of keycaps. Again, I I want to say they're PBT, but I can't I really think they are. They really, I really think they are. But I'll, I'm going to have to ask. And I'm going to have to, I'm going to ask, and I'm also going to see if they can, you know, be more forthcoming about listing that in the listing of their pages, because it would be nice to have an idea of what, you know, are these PPT or ABS keycaps? What's the material of the plate? You know, little things like that, because it's just nice to know. Um, it's funny to still see these holes in cases. Um, they're actually drain holes, you know, in case you spill your coffee on it, it'll have some place to drain. <laughs> so I, I, I find it funny that they still actually come on keyboards. I do have a whole set of Red Dragon Reds that are lubed, but they're in another keyboard right now. Um, if not, I do a before and after, but I will come back to this keyboard because I do like it. I think it's nice looking out. I want to go ahead and plug it in. Let's see what we got here. So they're North Face and RGBs. Uh, so most of the shine through keycaps are going to work just fine on here if you want to replace these. But and it does seem to have a pretty decent RGB brightness. And you can adjust the brightness as well as turn them completely off. So there are a lot of sub legends on here for all the different functionalities, the Mac subs, the connection subs, obviously the Mac sub legends, battery. Um, I think it does a bar across your numbers, but when you're on wireless, that means that it's charging. And I do believe it turns green when it's fully charged. This does have the pro version of the red dragon software which does give you a basic functionality layer per key rgb and macros as well so it's a pretty full featured full size keyboard i do know that their pulling rates are always high um over wired and 2.4 but bluetooth is always going to be 125 hertz or lower um that's i think that's a limitation to the chips that they're using um 
it's a decent full size that i mean there's there's been a lot of asks lately for full size gasket mounted keyboards and there just there isn't that many to choose from now this one yes will it require a little bit of work yes but it's not going to require too much work i mean i know if i if i had a pet layer add um, tempest tape mod and add some polyfill to this as well as either lube these switches or replace them with other switches I bet this keyboard's going to sound lovely, um, and it's going. It already feels good because it's got a gasket mount. It's not too soft. It's not something that's going to, you know, make you feel like you're typing on a trampoline. It doesn't have that harsh bottom out. It has that give. So I think that this. I mean, it's below sixty bucks, and plus Red Dragon does sales of ten percent or more all of the time. So I'm certain that this could probably be had for less than 50 bucks um, with some smart shopping. And I, I've got to say that's, that's a pretty good deal. And I actually like the blues. I'm actually thinking of a couple of keycap sets that I'd like to see on here besides these. I mean, don't get me wrong. These aren't that bad. I can't recall the name of the font that they're using, but it has that, those openings. And I don't know. I've never really been too fond of it. And that's the only thing that just kind of bothers me but that's more of a me thing just the specs today we took a look at the red dragon fay k85 pro a three mode full-size mechanical hot swap keyboard it comes with a gasket mounted pc plate and is loaded with stock red dragon red linear switches it also has blue on white and double shot keycaps and includes extra keycaps and switches the PCB is both 3 and 5 pin hot swap compatible and has north facing LEDs. The keyboard comes weighing in at 860 grams with a 3000 milliamp hour battery. The chin of this keyboard sits at 18 millimeters above the typing surface, while the back sits at 27 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of 5 degrees. Raising the first pair of included fold out feet will take the back to 32 millimeters and change your angle of typing to eight degrees. Whipping out the final set of feet will raise the back to 39 millimeters and take the angle to 12 degrees. This keyboard currently retails for $51.99 on Red Dragon's website, links below. So yeah, I mean, honestly, it's a, it's a move in the right direction. One of the first full mods that I did was to a Red Dragon K551 full-size keyboard. Uh, which I still have. It's been beat up a bit, but I still love it. Um, it's loaded up with some Akko, um, I want to say the Reds, and uh, Marvel's Infinity War. It just looks great. I love it. Um, so this one is definitely one I'm going to mod, especially since I'm no longer having to deal with the steel plate. I'll be dealing with the, what I, like I said, what I assume is a PC plate, but I will update down below should red dragon get back to me and let me know anyway um it's a for what the price is i think it's a decent keyboard i think it's a good base I, I do think that it will require a little bit of work if you're looking for a particular sound but i think you could get a clacky and i think with the right mods you could probably get a thocky but you could definitely get a clacky keyboard out of this just with what you've got already just replacing the switches with maybe some Akos. Um, this would be a a nice clacky monster um i i gotta say it's one of the first full size that have come across in a while but i actually say yeah i like this one and i'll definitely come back to it i like seeing red dragon move in the right direction they continue to implement things that others are still still behind on like i mean why is anyone releasing a keyboard in 2024 that has a tray mounted steel plate that's beyond me. I really don't understand. And I mean, for those that don't know any better and they think that that might be good, they're, they're just going to be in for an experience that's subpar compared to having something that's gasket mounted. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of this keyboard. Um, if you have any comments or any suggestions for what you'd like me to aim for, anything you'd like for me to do when I come back to mod it, please leave it down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, Hitting that like button, hitting subscribe goes a long way, and I do really appreciate it. And until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.